Hey quad bros welcome back guys to another video this time I'm going to be talking about the best weapons in each campaign in my opinion and what you should be spending your silver orders on because you get you know pretty few of them and they're spread across all the different campaigns so you don't want to be wasting your hard earned silver orders no major announcements today guys other than the usual remember to like comment and subscribe to the videos it really does help me thank you guys for all the support remember that if you want to you can join my community discord the link will be down in the description and also you can come follow me over at twitch.tv slash hey quadro join in some of my games and play with me on twitch without further ado guys let's jump into each of the campaigns starting with the americans so guys, starting off with the Americans here, your first major upgrade is going to be the M1 Carbine. I think spending a couple silver orders on grabbing a couple M1 Carbines for your Assault Squad is a good idea. I personally have all of my non-M3A1 submachine gun users using the M1 Carbine. It gives a lot better firepower at close range, but you do not want to give this to all of your infantry because it lacks firepower at range and you're going to get beat at range. So use this for your assault boys as they breach into buildings and just spray from the hip with this thing fire as fast as you can because it does have 15 rounds in a mag and can shoot really, really quickly. So that's personally what I use it for. The M1 car, uh, excuse me, the M1 Garand is going to be the first major upgrade. You guys are going to spend all of your silver orders or as many as you can afford on the M1 Garand. This is the best gun for the Americans. This is the best mainline battle rifle for the Americans. So outfit as many of your troops as you can with the M1 Garand. I think spending silver orders on this on this gun is never a bad thing. I don't think there's ever a point where spending a silver order on M1 Garand will be a mistake. So pick up as many of these as you guys can. Pick up a couple M3A1 submachine guns for an upgrade to the M3 grease gun. It shoots a lot faster and will overall be a little bit of a firepower upgrade for your boys. Next up, guys, is going to be the Winchester, uh, the essentially the trench gun. You're going to want to pick a couple of these up for your boys with the assault class to clear buildings and then going through this the next thing is going to be the jumbo sherman picking up some spare parts and using them to upgrade your jumbo sherman now guys if you get to this point in the tree i think that you're far enough through the american campaign that you're going to be able to make educated decisions about whether you want the M the sniper grand the sten the m2 carbine and then the lanchester and the browning so go ahead and make those choices yourself maybe pick up a browning here the bar um, great gun really fun to use so really guys at, at that point it's up to you guys but the biggest thing here is spend your silver orders on the m1 garand this is what you guys want to be getting this is probably where a lot of people are getting close to if you spend your silver orders on the m1 garand i promise you you are not going to be disappointed because this gun one shots at range it'll at least down at range and it does tons and tons of damage it's semi-automatic it's a fantastic fantastic gun if you guys didn't already know it and then of course you get that beautiful ping which is fantastic so let's move on to the normandy axis from here guys so guys the germans are going to act pretty similarly to the americans in terms of where you spend your silver orders you're going to want to pick up at least a couple fnabs to help you through the tree probably just one or two though and then outfit the rest of your assaults with the mp34 at least i think it's the mp34 whatever the baseline german smg is and then you're going to want to go for the Gewehr 43, just like the M1 Grand. Spend all of your silver orders, spend tons and tons of your silver orders, however many you got on the Gewehr 43, because this thing is fantastic. This is the M1 Grand of the Germans, and you're going to want this to challenge the American M1 Grands. And in fact, I actually like the Gewehr 43 more than I like the M1 Grand. So go ahead and make sure you pick this one up. Spend as many silver orders as you can on that. Next up, guys, the MP40. Spend a couple on the MP40. Grab some of those. This is going to give you a lot of close range firepower that you sorely need against the Americans. So definitely, definitely pick up a couple MP40s for your assault troops. Then you're going to, want to pick up some Breda Mod 30s. Not a ton of these because the Germans get a lot better MGs down the road, but at least a couple just for early on use for your gunners because you won't get the rest of the MGs for quite a while. Then you're going to go through, maybe pick up a Sniper Gewehr 43 if you like that, if you're if you're into using the Sniper semi-autos. I personally don't like sniping a ton in Enlisted, so I'm not going to pick these up. But if you're a Sniper player, I'm sure that the Sniper semi-automatic rifle that one-shots will be pretty, pretty good. Next up down the line, guys, a couple MG34s for your gunners. And this is going to hold you over until you get the glorious MG42 later on in the campaign. And then the biggest upgrades in the tree at least what i am going to be looking forward to the most is the fg42 this is a fantastic fantastic gun this is a very iconic gun from world world war ii so definitely definitely grab some fg42s fg42 here as well 
and then finally guys of course the glorious mg42 hitler's buzzsaw beautiful beautiful gun grab this grab as many of these as you can outfit all your gunners with the mg42s because i'm sure that will be so much fun to just mow down americans with the mg42 so guys let's go over the moscow campaign and let's talk about the russians in moscow and what guns you should be using and spending your silver orders on in moscow so guys in closed beta i haven't played the russians very much yet but i did finish the russian campaign in closed beta so i do know what i'm talking about here the tosby is beautiful this is actually one of my favorite guns in the entire game and it's going to be really really powerful because the thing about the russians is that the russians have incredibly incredibly good assault squads in fact i think the russians have the best assault squads in enlisted pretty far and away because they get both the tosby and later on the ppd drum mag so first up guys grab some tosby's for your assault troopers this gun is fantastic very very strong very very good gun now the russians also have three different rifles they have the mosin m1938 they have the dragoon they have the baseline mosin rifle and then later on they have the winchester so you're going to want to pick up at least a couple of these either carbines dragoons or the baseline mosin rifle whichever one you guys personally enjoy the most this is kind of going to be a personal preference the carbine is better at close range it hits a little bit less hard than say the dragoon the dragoon will does 15 damage versus the 13 but the m1938 carbine does reload faster and also fires a little bit faster so just whichever one you guys you know found yourself using test them all out and then pick up a couple of them to outfit your troops with the better rifle and that'll hold you over until eventually you guys are going to pick up a couple ptrds and madsons both of these are useful weapons to pick up for your gunner and at squads respectively definitely for the ptrd because i don't think there are any other bomber weapons so you're gonna want some ptrds for your bomber class and then guys at level 11 here the best gun in my opinion in the entire game that i have used so far is the ppd 3438 this gun is busted unless they have somehow nerfed this gun and i missed those patch notes which i don't think i did this gun is crazy you need to pick up this gun you should have an entire assault squad with as many assaults with as many of these guns as possible because you can just hold the trigger and clear entire trenches clear entire buildings this gun is busted i i honestly cannot overstate how good this gun is. It, it is absolutely crazy get as many of these as you can upgrade them get high level ones because it will carry you through games i used to get 150 plus kill games easily just by using these guns because of how unbelievably busted they are next up guys you're gonna want to pick up the winchester some players don't like the winchester i have no idea why it hits hard it reloads fast it fires fast uh it doesn't fall off at range it's a fantastic gun maybe they just don't like the iron sights uh the iron sights are kind of finicky but honestly i think you should be using the winchester this is the best rifle in my opinion until you get the semi-autos later on and those are going to be a lot harder to pick up and they're going to cost a lot more silver orders so honestly guys pick up the winchester very very good gun in my opinion now the sniper svt in closed beta this gun did not one shot it took two shots to kill so in my opinion this is not a very good gun to use i recommend just sticking with the bolt action rifles especially because this is going to cost a lot of silver orders so stick with your bolt action rifles in my opinion grenade launcher again guys not a huge fan flamethrowers not a huge fan until they get buffed dp27 fantastic gun highly recommend you guys pick up a couple of these for your gunner squads and then the svt38 guys you're going to want to pick up as many of these as possible i honestly think these are going to cost a lot of silver orders so maybe just get one squad of like elite soldiers you know your shock troops run around um with the svt38 i don't think you guys are going to be able to afford it and i don't think it's going to be worth it to spend a ton and ton of silver orders on svt38 so again just maybe one elite squad with with svts that can put down a lot of firepower and then you can just use them now again the sniper svt i don't know if this gun one shots if it does fantastic it needs to have at least 10 power to be able to one shot if it does great if it doesn't don't use it not worth it and then of course guys the ppd 40 at the very end pick up a couple of these because this is just a direct upgrade it reloads a lot faster than the basic mpd or excuse me ppd 34 so guys let's finish it off by talking about the germans for the moscow campaign so guys just like the russians i did finish the axis campaign for the um for the battle of moscow so i do know quite a bit about this the mp38 is a good gun but just like in normandy you're going to want the mp40 so just pick up a couple of these because you will need firepower versus the russians at close range i personally did not like the the pre-war car 98 
Um, I prefer just the baseline car 98. The VZ is okay, uh, but personally speaking, I just always went with the basic car 98 as my mainline rifle for as many troops as I can. It has the added benefit of just costing one silver order, so I recommend you guys just go with that. Now, going down the line, guys, you're going to want some PZBs, and then you're going to want the MG13. This gun is monstrous the mg13 is fantastic i love this gun it is so good it is so dominant i really recommend you guys pick up a lot of these for your gunners just pick up a couple you probably aren't going to have squads full of gunners but just like normandy the german mg13 and the german gunner squads are fantastic so definitely definitely use some mg13 and then again just like normandy the mp40 grab it use it you need I promise you guys, you need firepower at close range versus the allies in both campaigns. So you're going to need the MP40s. Do not skip out on this because the second you walk into a room with a Russian, with a drum mag PPD, you're going to wish you had this gun. I promise you guys. And then we're going to, uh, the ZB26. I personally like the MG13 more, but the ZB is pretty good. Maybe you just use the basic one that you guys get. And if you like using it, pick up some more. Pick up the pre-war car 98 with a uh, scope mount. It's fine. I think it fires faster than the normal car 98 scope. But honestly, guys, I think just sticking with the basic one, just like before, save your silver orders. Don't spend them on stuff because late game, the silver orders are going to cost a lot more. The MG 34. I think you guys should pick this up over the MG 13. Probably a lot better. Pick up a couple of these for your gunners. And then just like the Russians, an elite squad of you know stormtroopers or whatever with Gewehr 41s is going to be a good idea. These are going to cost too much to bother you know, filling out an entire army with, but you're going to be able to do an elite squad with Gewehr 41s is going to be a great idea. You're going to get another uh, anti-tank rifle towards the end. I haven't actually used this one, and I personally don't like the anti-tank rifle, so I, I think you guys should probably skip out on that one. And then finally, the MP35 um, is probably pretty good. But again, guys, late game, this late in the game, you're going to know what you need. You're going to you're going to know if you like the MP40 or not, or if you feel like you want an upgrade to the MP40 based on how the Russians are, how, you know, powerful the Russian PPD 40 or whatever is. So you guys are going to know if you want to pick up an MP35, make that choice on your own. But again, Gewehr, MP40 are the big ones. You need to get that MP40, guys. You need that firepower at close range. Trust me, the Russians will destroy you with that PPD drum mag. So guys, that is all the different factions. I'll try to update this whenever Berlin and Tunisia come out. But for now, that is all there is. Now, I don't want to seem like this is the only way to play the game because as you guys probably have realized, I have a huge bias towards close range combat in this game. I really prefer being up close using submachine guns, semi-automatic weapons. And I realize that some people prefer using sniper rifles, bolt actions, you know, being engineers, stuff like that. And that is a perfectly valid way of playing the game. That's totally fine. So if that's how you play the game, I really recommend that you guys use the weapons that you're most, most comfortable with and the weapons that you do the best with because those are what are important. Because like I said in my American overview, I really think the M1 Garand is the best gun in the game, but, well, best gun for the Americans at least, uh, rifle-wise, but I really like using the Lee Enfield and I scatter Lee Enfields all through my squads because I love using the gun. It's just really satisfying to use for me. So if you guys have that gun and have a weapon that you really enjoy using use that gun get silver orders for that gun get a bunch of upgrades for that gun because that's totally totally fine because what matters is having fun playing the game and using the weapons that you enjoy using so hopefully that this video just gave you guys a decent overview of all the different factions and where you should be spending your silver orders in general and where the best weapons are and what you should be skipping out on so you don't waste any of your silver orders but guys, that's it for me. I hope you guys found something useful in this video somewhere. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and check out some of my other videos and also come hang out and say hi to me at twitch.tv slash heyquadro. I'd love to see you guys and play some matches with you guys. And also, if you guys see me in game, don't feel weird um, about saying hey to me. Just, I love talking to people in game and there's been plenty of times where I've met up with you know one of my subscribers or you know just a normal viewer and you know added them and we played a couple matches together that happens all the time so don't be shy say hello to me and i'll see you guys on the battlefield